I'd like to talk about chemical engineering material balances. First of all, chemical engineering. Chemical engineering is a very important uh, discipline that we're teaching students here at the University of Chester. And essentially, it involves making the stuff that the modern world takes for granted. So for example, um, oil that you put in your car, or diesel fuel, um, soap that you wash yourself with, or pharmaceutical drugs that you, you take to get rid of a headache. And material balances in particular are a very important, a key concept in chemical engineering. And it's the first thing that we teach uh, our students uh, after they've arrived here from school. To study chemical engineering, you need maths and you need chemistry. But you also need this concept of the material balance, which is so important for designing oil refineries to make fuel for your car, or for um, understanding how cells can produce life-saving anti-cancer drugs. So here's another uh, very simple analogy for a material balance, um, and it's very simple. Here I've got a, a kiddie's teapot and some water. If I tip the water into the teapot, there's water coming in, but there's no water leaving the teapot, so water is accumulating. The material balance tells me that. Accumulated equals in minus out. There's nothing leaving, so accumulated equals in. Once the teapot gets full, water starts to leave. The rate of accumulation of water in the teapot is zero because the teapot is staying full of water. So the rate at which water is entering the teapot is equal to the rate at which water is leaving. Rate of accumulation is zero equals in minus out or in equals out. Again, very simple.